Welcome back to Software Inc. Uh, this episode, we're going to be fixing a pretty <laughs> big mistake I made last episode, which I realized in editing, and I was like, oh no, this is just, this is, this is bad. So, when I was trying to figure out how many people were going to be in the operating system team, I forgot that selecting chairs was going to select all of these chairs that I put here, and we have 46, instead of the actual number, 26 which is how many computers there actually are. So as a result, we have literal people standing around cars in the parking lot because they have nowhere to work. They just stand around the car. These guys are all in the OS team. They literally have nowhere to work, so they stand out in the snow. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's, a, that's bad. Um, so I guess there's a couple solutions to this. We either just cram more people into this room or we build more room for them. Also, Maintenance really needs to fix the lights in here. What, what is going on with this? Oh wait, I just hired a bunch more maintenance. Whoops, I meant to call them. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, what are you guys? Let's call a bunch of them. I think I just need to hire some more of them, which I'll do in a minute, but I need to solve this problem of uh, the operating system team. Okay, so... I mean, I guess the, the easiest solution, the one that probably makes the most sense, is just to compact this to fit more people into this room. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna select the desks and, and delete them, start over, because... I mean, these desks were never even really decorated, so I'm not too worried about that. So I think I just need to start this room over and seat 46 people in here. So <laughs> let's try and do that. So you can come along with the building process. I like them having slightly bigger desks. Uh, it's nice, but I guess we couldn't really fit much more in. What I'm thinking, we could do something like this, right? So it's still a smaller cubicle, but you still have a, you know, pretty big desk space. And it's a little bit bigger than these ones, you know, they have a bit more space. So maybe something like this is a little bit nicer. How many of these can I fit in? Oh, I'm selecting people. Right, so if I duplicate these desks, flip them this way, <laughs> put these ones that way, and these ones back that way. So how many is that? This doesn't look as nice, I, I'm, I'll be honest. That's 20 people just in this space. And then I think what I'll do, oh. I think what I'll do is I'll actually move some of these around. So just to sort of vary it a little bit. So I'm actually gonna get rid of all this and I'll, I'll redo the, the positions of them. But if we can get 20 there, then surely we can fit another 26 in this space, right? I think we can do this. So let, let, I'm gonna have a play around and see what I can fit. All right, so so far we've got 31. So we need another 15 to fit in, which I think we should be able to get in this space, which is good. So I'll build another set of them. And yeah, I've, I've tried to make the, the positions look a little bit more unique. So it's not, not all just copy pasted. So hopefully it still looks okay. <laughs> all right, we've got 40. So I need another six. Hmm, that actually may be a problem now. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I can fit one here, but then it creates like a little awkward hallway. Well, you can definitely fit another set here, so let me do that. All right, so I just need another three desks in this office. Okay, we have 44. I put the one here, which is all right. The only other solution I can think is putting some in this room, which is pretty nice, this room, by the way. Uh, so maybe we'll go in here then and start utilizing this space too. So I could do, could do two like that, and then I guess I'd have to adjust that archway. Dude, these would be the best ones. This is where you want to be. And th this office here, this would be sweet. I still get the cubicles from everybody else. All right, so we've got 44, 45, 46. There you go. We finally have enough seats for everybody. Um, and this totally works. Obviously, it still doesn't look that good. I still want to decorate it a bit. But what I would like to do first is... Yeah, make sure it's all assigned. It is. Okay, so we go back here now. Let's let the team... Everyone's going to find a new chair. The rest of the people are going to come from the parking lot now. And actually go to the desks. <laughs> All right, so they are now in here. So now what I actually like to do, which I think would be a good idea, we have these people on the team. See, everyone is kind of just assigned to everything, but clearly there's some people that are better at programming, right? So now I am wondering, maybe we should get the HR management to change people for their hired for a role. I don't know if they're gonna change it now. Let's see, if I, if I let that run, will it specifically change them now or is that only when I hire them? Oh, no, no, it does, cool. All right, so what this will do, if I just sort by this, okay, we've got literally two artists, which you know what? That's a really easy solution. All I have to do is say this specific room is for artists only. So this is the art department of the, the operating system, which is pretty epic. And then they get this, which will help artists. Though I will have to specify the same thing for the, uh, the nighttime team here. So hired four. Let's make sure that they all change as well. And again, we should have... Two artists, there they are. Now we've got how many designers? 17, all right. So what we're gonna do, hmm. I guess the question is how, what is the best way to d divide the team? Because by room is obviously very easy. So five, 10, 15, 20. So that's already more than 17 anyway. So over here we've got four, eight, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hmm. See, I did not think in terms of splitting them up by team. What about if I do this? Get a daytime. This wall comes down here uh, to there. Okay. So now in this room, we have 32. In this room, we have 12. And then I do this and I go here. And I actually just recombine these because that was a mistake. So then in this room, we have 17. And this room, we have 27. And also, I don't think I have enough heating and cooling in all these rooms now too. And also, there's no way to get into the room. That's fine. That's fine. We'll fix that. So then all I have to do is... No, this one here, sorry. We'll just do an archway there, archway here. It's supposed to be the same studio, but I just... this I, I find that this is going to be an easier way to split up, you know, designers and programmers. I guess we don't need a full height window there, do we? Maybe a half height like that. And same with this one. Oh, actually, no, you know what? Maybe not those ones because... Those are cubicles. This one can have a window because this one is just like looking out here. Maybe not the one under the desk. So I get that one. That one there. Yeah. So it's supposed to be the same studio uh, and it should be. So I think now the problem is, yeah, not enough ventilation. So what I'm going to do, select all the heating and cooling vents in this room. And I'll select all the ones in this room and delete those as well because we'll just redo those. So cooling vents. Let's see. We need one, two, looks like three we need. So I'll put a third one, I guess, just there. Yep. That's fully good. And then heating vents for this room. One, two, and probably three. I'm just gonna put them along that wall. <laughs> and then for this room, which is bigger, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, four of them. I feel like these can kind of go anywhere. Like it seems like these go, I don't think they need to be maintained. So they can kind of even just go under desks and stuff and it doesn't seem to matter. All right, there we go. So now the idea is, Actually, let me say here real quick. Limit room usage. This will be for programmers. This room here is for designers. So now if I go to room labels, we can see our artists work over here, designers in here, programmers in there, and then obviously the leader in this room here. And everyone should have a room where they can work. I should double check the numbers though. 17 there, 27 there. So if we go to HR, 17, 27, and 2. Perfect. Now, are these rooms even light enough though? That's 360. That one's bright enough. This room needs more lights in it. So I'm going to add some of these in. Little table lamps. There you go. That's bright enough now. And for the programmers, we give them all a calculator. I think that's the best one for a programmer. Wait a second. This one doesn't even have a... Oh, this cubicle doesn't even have someone sitting at it. Which means I actually have 28 in here. And I didn't... I guess what I could do then is maybe get rid of this one. So then we don't have that weird sticky outy one. And then just move the wall to here. Okay, 27 and 17. All right. Are all the desks actually filled? I think so. All right. So I just... Whoops. I just moved the wall here. And then uh, put a cubicle there instead. <laughs> so that worked. All right, title those labels. Right, anyway, back to what I was doing. Calculators for all these computers. Which I don't really understand, because, I mean, what year are we in now? Like, don't they have a calculator on the computer? How is a physical one going to help? I mean, some, I guess, I, like, I'm not saying you can't like a physical computer. Uh, computer. Calculator. Because sometimes it is nice, but I don't think it's definitely what you need all the time. All right, for a designer... It's kind of, they're all kind of similar. We could give them a drawing tablet, which I think is a little bit better than anything else. Maybe similar to an inbox. I think it, it's maybe the same. I feel like designers don't really have a great boost item, but I'll give them the drawing tablet, so like the artists. All right, now I'm gonna go around the room and just add some decorations and stuff, because it is kind of sad at the moment. There's just not really much going on. Get some like plants and stuff around as well. Maybe even just a corner lamp just for fun. Maybe even some bookcases. I know that's kind of wild. Can they get past this? I don't know. Maybe. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know if they can fit past that. I got four of them in the middle there. There you go. So a bunch of those. I mean, this is already looking better, I think. Get a rug in the middle for fun. Get a clock up on this wall. Get this picture. You guys can have some sound foam. Soundproofing foam. Look at that. You can have a blue one. That's fun. And you can have just a boring colored one. And a little lamp. And cacti. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's looking better. It's more interesting. So the decoration in the room now is 200%. This one's also 200%. Acoustics is good. I think these are good. Now, my question is actually, are these still in a room group? Because I did change all these rooms. So if I click on this one over here, group level two, group level two, group level two and group level two. Okay, they're all still in the groups, which is good. So they'll still be cleaned and hopefully maintained, although we don't seem to have enough maintenance, so I don't know about that. Anyway, so now, when the teams come in, they should go- Oh my gosh, a little bit of lag as everyone arrives in single file. You know what? Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, it's getting rough. Maybe we hired too many new people on the way in. Um, I wonder if the, is there lag just, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is rough. There's a lot of people using the stairs. Okay. Is it just because there's so many people now? Like how many people do we have in the building? Probably a lot, but I mean, this is, it hasn't been, like it kind of went from zero to a hundred on this. Like it's never been this light. Like, look at this. I can't, I can't even really move around. This is bad. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't even slow it down. There we go. Hmm, this could be a problem. <laughs> I am kind of confused why it's so laggy now all of a sudden. You know what, let me just save and restart just to make sure it's nothing weird. It is still incredibly laggy. What did I do? Right, so I think I figured it out, thankfully, which is pretty exciting. Uh, the problem with the frame rate was because, because I realized there was people, again, stuck by their cars. And uh, even though all of these guys are on the same team, like the programmers, designers, and artists, they would not walk through the room specifically designated for designers. Like they would not walk through this room to get to their room, even though they're all still on the same team and everything's assigned to them. So I had to go in here and make sure I selected the pass through on this specific room. Otherwise, these guys were having pathfinding issues. So essentially, the game knew that they had a room and the game was trying to get them there. So it kept trying to calculate which way to go, but it kept getting blocked by this. So I think it just kept trying to do it and it just wasn't working. Anyway, T fixing that, it, there's no lag anymore, so we're good. I was so, I was so worried we're gonna have to throw in the towel on this and just like, I, I guess either get less employees or something. I was like, I don't wanna do that. But here we are, we're back. Now, what are we up to? We got the Game Station 3 is in alpha. Now, I don't believe, oh, I just clicked a print on that. I didn't, we don't, yeah, we don't have currently a production line that can handle Game Station 3 because we need to add in two drive bay printers to the console assembler. So why don't we go have a look at our current game station printing facility. Is this the phone or which one's which down here? That's the phone. So upstairs here, this is the console currently. So, oh gosh, all right, I think I might need more room. So I might even just combine these two. Oh wait, no, I can't combine them because, oh wait, no, I can. They're all the same. Okay, that's fine. Let me just combine these two. I think the only reason that they, whoops, only reason they're not, oh, I think I have to do it in build mode, sorry. Nope, okay, is this just not a thing I can do? Merge. Oh, I can't, right, I can't do it because it's, if we do that, then this room will be in the middle. Okay, never mind. I'll just do this and then I should be able to do it. There we go. All right, so let's have a look. So we need drive bays to go with the board printers and the controllers. Okay, so we have controller printers here. Okay, and we have four of them, right? Oh no, the controller, so this is the controller printer here. So yeah, we have four of these going into these guys here. So we need to add in drive bay printers here. So it goes under these two lines. So we could actually, I mean, not, not ideal, but if we actually move this guy back here. So these are the, uh, the board printers. Is that what it was? Yeah, the board printers. And they already split twice off to go into the console one. So we could even just utilize this current setup. I mean, ideally I'd want another uh, separate conveyor belt to do it, but this is definitely easier to just retroactively fit this in. So if I go one here, one here, and we set these both to print drive bays, and then they go like this, and then the boards go this way, and then they all just tur turn like this. Oh no, did I just block stuff as unable to reach? Oh, cause I can't get around the back. Oh, actually that's pretty easy to fix, I think. All I gotta do is select all the stuff in this room and then I, th oh no, not the person. And then I think I just have to move it one forward. Well, that broke way more stuff. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> that broke way more than it fixed. Okay, yeah, that's a dead end, that's fine. Okay, and then they can't get in here because they can't get around the back anymore. Um, okay, well I can fix part of that. So instead of that one going this way, I think you can just go this way. And then this one can also just do the same thing, I think, right? And it just goes like this and then this. Fluorescent, oh, there's a light there. Oh, that's fine, that's easy. We'll just move that out of the way. Yeah, that works. So then that makes this all accessible. I could even leave these two here, but I'll do the same thing on this side, just so it's, you know, it looks the same. So drive bay goes here, then we delete that, add this in, add that in, and actually that's fine. Oh, and then I just have to reconnect this back up to the output. So now this printing facility here should be able to print. Yeah, here we go. It can print, oh. Oh, I need to add in Rumble Units too. Okay, it can nearly print Game Station 3, but it can also print Game Station 2. So we can make that as well. So anyway, I need to add in also a Rumble Unit. And I need one printer to go to two joystick assemblers. Okay, so where the plastic is, it's here. So I need to add, I'll do the same thing, I think. Oh, this might not work as neat. Like, what if I put it here? Does that block the way? So I put one there, and what if I put one also here? But this, whoops. But this one is set to, is this blocking the way? Ah, oh, damn. Actually, just this one. Um, okay. Yeah, because it can't get through to the middle bit now. Um, well, we could put it 
Actually, what if we just put them both on this side? Does that work? No, that just blocks this side. Okay, well, hmm. Um, what if I put it... Hang on, let me move that out of the way. Let me, okay, get rid of that. So this can't go there because it blocks that one. That's fine. So it can go there. And this one can't go here because it blocks this way. Well, what if I get that out of the way? And then this one just goes like this. And then what if I actually instead... Okay, I've got it. Get rid of that. Move this upward bit there. Move the splitter here. So get rid of that. Get rid of this. This one goes here. Move this upward one to here. And then we get the roof hanging bit there. So this all still works exactly the same way. And then these two can go here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now that should also provide an equal amount to these two guys for the controllers to make the rumble units. Yes, we can now manufacture Game Station 3. I'm going to set it to a maximum of... 500,000 units. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so expensive. So we should see this whole thing kicking into gear now. It's all lit up. Oh yeah, here we go. So this prints, that prints. Hopefully them sharing. I, I really wish lights would stay on in a room if there's no one in it. Is there a mod for that? I don't know, but it, it is, it's kind of, I guess I could add windows. <laughs> I guess, I didn't really want windows into my like manufacturing building, my warehouse. But I just like to be able to see what's going on and it's so dark that you can't see anything. There you go, at least you can see that now a little bit. <laughs> my gosh, look at this thing. All right, so I guess we got to see then if everything comes into the assembler and then we're actually getting consoles out of it. So now down here, we should be getting some Game Station 3s, right? Let's have a look. Game Station 3, <laughs> yeah! Oh, wait for our bills though. Wait for the bills we get tomorrow. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, here come all the couriers. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna guess it is that the. Th oh no, it's these rooms. Oh, wait, what? Wait, why is this room a problem? Well, that's one of the rooms. Where are the other rooms? So that room's a problem. Okay. Oh, and then. Oh, I didn't do any in here, any like fire alarms or anything in the bathrooms. Of course. All right. Yeah, there's no sprinklers or fire alarms. I mean, it's fine. There's like sprinklers in every single room. You really think this one room's going to be a problem? <laughs> All right, so in here and in here. And also, did you see how dirty those stairwells were over here, by the way? Look at this. Look how many people walk through. I think I need to get like specific cleaners just for these rooms. So was it the bottom room? Because I don't see anything down here. Okay, yeah, sprinkler and a fire alarm, sprinkler. No fire alarm in here though, so we'll get one in. Okay, do I need, I feel like I, I need more cleaners. Because this place does not look like it's being cleaned. Well, there's a cleaner. Oh, wait, are these not in a room group? They're not. These are, but they, yep, because I added these rooms in, I did not I did not add them to the room group. Damn it. All right, so they need to be added to the level one group. Add selected rooms to group. Because then my cleaners can come over here and clean. Because they're, they're not assigned to clean these rooms. No wonder they're so disgusting. <laughs> they had like a literal... Oh, burglars. Did they actually get anything? Where are they? Wait, how are they in here? Where's my security guard? Oh. Really? They're literally just picking up my server and leaving. All right. What? Where are you? I guess we don't have any overlapping times. Because I guess it's 12 to 8. 8 to 4. 4 to 12. So I guess there's no... Uh, you know what? Wait, where did you park? Did you park over here? Is that the problem? Maybe we need to specify at least a couple parking spots here for staff so my security guards can park here and maybe cleaners actually. You know what? Let me let me specify this section here. Hmm. The burglars staked out the place and they found a weak point. <laughs> you know what? I might even set the first like few rows over here to staff as well so they can park there. So they're closer to the building. All right, how do my Whoa, look how much I spent on manufacturing. Wait, what's going on? Where are we? February 2005. What are we releasing? Because aren't we doing stuff? <laughs> aren't we doing stuff? Okay, April 2005 is Object Studio 2. Okay. Uh, Game Station 3 is no release date yet, but it is nearly out of alpha. So we could probably start looking at when we want to release it. So we've got console operating system here in May. So we're not going to go then. We also do not have one here. So maybe we could go in, we're in February, maybe September. Let's go September, market release date, September 2005, six months. That's fine, market press release. Let's get that going. Oh, how's my research going by the way? Oh, we're in February, I didn't even start it. Damn it. I've just been so busy trying to fix all the other weird issues we have. All right, system research, 2D research, 3D research, audio research, network research, and hardware research. Let's go. All right, so they're all up and running, which is nice. Um, these guys are not looking that happy in here. Effectiveness. Is it because... Oops. I did not mean to go to build mode. So is it because of noise? No, not necessarily. It's pretty fine in here, actually. Why are you guys not so effective in here? Is it 
Oh, you know what? It's probably just because they're at the end of their shift. Yeah, they were supposed to leave at 4, aren't they? That's probably fine. Oh no, they leave at 6 a.m. now instead of 4. Yeah, that was just the end of their shift. Okay, that's fine. That's no problem. Alrighty, so this looks like it's pretty much good to go to the next stage. Console OS team is ready to promote that, I think. I'm just gonna, I guess, yep, there it is. Promote it, and that's in beta now, which is fantastic. Press release is almost ready to go out there. And it's ready, let's get that out. Beautiful, let's make sure we're hyping it as well so we don't lose any interest in it. Object Studio 2 is also being hyped, I'll move that up. That's for April, maybe we should do another press build for that as well, get that out there. All right, so, I mean, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, these two are nearly ready to be developed. My 2D editor night team's not doing anything. Is there a reason for that? Oh, the 2D editor day team's not doing anything either. either. I haven't even assigned that, right, fair enough. Legal Legal team's not doing anything. Okay, so it's just a 2D editor team, which I guess we should probably make a new one. Photo Studio 4, so we're gonna make a sequel to that. I guess we also don't have a antivirus team anymore, do we? Because we renamed them to the operating system team. We should probably work on that too. All right, so let's get everything that we had before. The Photo Studio 5 will be $100. We're gonna mark it up. Then we're on the source control management. And then why don't we go ahead and add clip art and vector graphics, and we'll do beautify as well. And we're gonna add raw image support and drawing tablet support. Let's just add everything to it and make a new framework. Did we ever make a framework for this before? I don't think so. Oh wait, we did, photo engine. I think that was ours. It's hard to tell because this menu is so small. Yeah, it was mine. So this is gonna be photo engine two. It's gonna take me three years to make this thing. <laughs> it's fine, it's worth it. Auto balance, there you go. And we're having a lot of wasted interest, but you know what? It's worth it, okay? The 2D editor team. Uh, and then when, yeah, that's fine, develop that. When uh, Object Studio is finally out, we're gonna start making a game. Because what, what is the game dev team? The game dev team is currently working on 3D, or, or the Object Studio, so that they're, they're not really doing much at the moment. Uh, there's also, actually, how's the canteen going these days? Do we have enough going on here? There's a lot of people coming in here to eat, and I, I'm not actually sure where they're getting their plates of food from. A lot of them are bringing food with them. Oh, did I adjust the cooking times? 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's probably fine. 12 to 4. They seem to want to be eating already by this time, so I'm actually going to shift these back to where they used to be, because... I, we shifted them because they start at 9pm, but it seems like they're all eating at 12, so there should already be food here, and it seems like we're missing that. So I'm going to put those back so they work a little bit earlier. But the canteen still seems to be a hive of activity. I actually, I really love this. I love the fact they all come out here. No one ever seems to eat outside though, mind you. Although, at least some people are using this pathway, that's nice. Oh well. I mean, if we didn't have enough seats in here, they might go sit out there, but they might also sit in this hallway, I don't know. I'm thinking we should probably do a nice entrance through the middle here, because it is kind of silly seeing them all do this. So what could we do here? Well, first of all, we need to change this back into a regular room. Okay, so we could have a pathway here and here maybe, or should we line it up with where the actual, this pathway is? Maybe we should be lined up with this. And the question is, do we make it just, no, we should probably make it a bit wider than that, maybe four wide. And then I'm gonna cut this, or not, it wasn't that easy. Okay, so cut it there and cut it here. I like how that footpath is still there underneath from before. And cut this and cut that. <laughs> You see where they used to walk. Now, I guess, do I just use a pathway or I could even use one of these as a different flooring, but I think this might be easier. Let's go like that. So now I'm actually curious, will new, because obviously, the, yeah, they will now use the middle section. That makes more sense. Does that still look okay? Yeah, that looks okay. I don't mind that. It's obviously not actually, oh, actually, is it in the center? Well, I guess it is, because it's in line with it. I, for some reason, thought it wasn't, but I guess it's not in the center of this wall, because it's not, this is asymmetrical anyway, so that's fine. Uh, what I do want to do is actually change these back into rooms. Or to pillars so they don't have that weird warning all the time. There we go. Cool. All right, well, these also look like they're pretty much ready to develop. They should flash red when they're actually ready to go. Um, now, it is March. Are we printing Object Studio 2 or have we already printed it? Because that seems to be a mistake I keep making is not printing my software. Hmm. Clicking the print button doesn't seem to work and I don't know why. So I guess we're not printing it. All right, Music Studio 2 is ready for development. That's exciting. How's this research going? A lot of research is coming along nicely. Photo Studio 5, I'm just gonna move up so it's above the research. Yeah, it is actually nice to see some of them using the middle bit now. Oh yeah, we've got the staff actually using these parking spots. And I wonder if when my security guards, I need to put a pathway here. This is, this is bad. When my security guard changes over, I'm really hoping that, oh, do you want somebody to sit down? Oh, I'm so sorry, cleaning. I thought I did have couches in here. Obviously, I mean, obviously not. I get a little drinks machine. We get a vending machine as well. You know, go hang out in there. There you go. Yeah, that's nice. They actually have somewhere to sit now. 
<laughs> okay, so security guard's here. This one's there. They haven't left yet. Oh yeah, so now, because this guy starts at 12, so he actually arrived before this person leaves. And I guess they were probably were arriving early enough before, but because they parked all the way over here, it just took them way too long to get there. Which actually makes me wonder about these guys here. How's this changeover? I guess that was fine. Noise. Ooh, is it a little noisy here? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought some of these more open ones would probably be a little too noisy. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. So let's have a look. Let's get the noise layer up. All we gotta do is probably just this. There's a couple of end pieces. I like it because I like it, it looking more open. Actually, you know what? The other thing we could do, at least for these more open ones, because I like the look of it. They added in noise canceling headphones. So I actually wonder if for these guys, just those guys there, if you then use those, will you be? Yeah, yeah. See, now they're happy with it. The only, yeah, the downside to it is it creates social isolation. So they might not be having enough social after wearing those, but. You can see now they're way happier, even though they don't actually wear them. <laughs> they're way happier about it. All right, it is April 2005, though. It's time to release Object Studio 2. Yes, we're going to mark it for a budget of $100,000. Um, yes, I would like to print. No, not order. I would like to print copies. But for some reason, it didn't let me print it before it came out. So we're going to have to do that now. <laughs> it's fine. 250,000 copies, please. There we go, now we can actually print it. We already have 88,000 in storage, that was quick. I don't think we do it. I think it shows that number before it actually prints them. I think they're queued, because it will go, yeah, there it is. Okay, so now that will come out to the printing bay, and then we should have couriers here. Or at least they'll come throughout the day, so we'll definitely have enough. All right, so let's move that up the top, uh, the support for it. Now, the marketing of some of these things, are these all, they're all kind of hanging in there. Uh, we could probably end some of these marketing campaigns, or at least lower the budget of them. Because, well, first of all, we're not even marketing enough of them. Like, we could, we're not... Oh, you know what? No, no, that's okay, because we have marketing during the day as well, so they will finish this. That's fine. No, 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 we don't need to worry about that. We're definitely still handling enough of it. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, Siri, do you... You don't need to understand everything, okay? We still get a big traffic jam. Uh, which is not, it's again, still not something I really know how to solve other than just time. <laughs> I mean, everyone seems to show up at time because at 9 a.m. is the start of work day, so it seems like they're all here, so that's fine. A room is dirty. All right, which, which room? This hallway? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it just, it gets dirty. I guess I could bring the cleaners in earlier. Maybe they need to come in a bit earlier so they can start cleaning as it's getting dirty. All right, so we finished hardware research. I'm going to uh, try and patent that which we are now on the legal team, which is good. Uh, so the marketing for Object Studio 2 is here. They're working on that now, which is great. Um, next up, September 2005 is Game Station 3. Oh, actually also we can start developing a game finally too. Game, adventure, it's gonna be Tiny Tim, but it's gonna be Tiny Tim 3, big whim. That's what we're trying to do. And it's gonna have open worlds, procedural, no, no, no procedural generation yet. Uh, facial animations. We don't need VR. Adaptive music. Multiplayer? No, no, not multiplayer yet. Not yet. Maybe that'll be the next one. 80 bucks. Um, no framework for this. Choose tool. Right, so now we should finally, hopefully, be able to use better tech levels. Tech level 2002. That's all right. That's only a couple years old. So that's, I mean, it's way better than the 94 or whatever it was. I mean, look at this. The 3D, uh, <laughs> 3D tech levels are so old, just like a couple years ago. So Object Studio 2, 2005, or no, 2002, sorry, tech level. Audio Tool, Music Studio, which came out before this one and has a higher tech level. So I don't know what's going on with that one. How do they have more users? It's so much worse. What the heck, guys? <laughs> all right, then operating systems. So we'll just go by the most users. Oh, there's quite a lot. We'll go in all these. We could actually develop it for my own operating systems, but I think it might be better to just port to them. Game Station 2 is in there. We might port to them after release. All right, auto balance that. There you go. And this will be on, not the 2D editor team, it'll be the game devs. That's what they're for. Developing games. Oh, wacky physics we could have. No, we'll do that next time. All right, so that's a three year project. Yeah, get working on that. All right, so Tiny Tim Big Whim is in development. And then we also need to develop a 3D editor. Uh, here we go, Object Studio 2, make sequel, Object Studio 3 with the new tech levels that we have. It's 2004, that's all right. Uh, we could add in bit mining and hope that we don't get caught. <laughs> make an extra 10 cents per active user. Is that really worth it? Probably not. And from bit mining, you only know, make a 10 cents per user? What's the point of it? They're making millions, maybe. Uh, procedural objects. Yeah, let's get those in there. And hair simulation. And liquid simulation. You know what? Let's just do it all. Do it all. 103? No, 110. Mark it up. Let's go. Operating systems. Sure, we'll just do those two because... They're the best at the moment. Auto balance it. And this will be not those guys, it'll be the 3D editors. We, whoops, I selected someone extra. No game devs on that one. Uh, and develop that. Uh, yes, that's fine. Now, we can develop Office Studio 
There we go. That's ready to go. This is all marketed nicely. Very good. Wow, we got a lot of things in support. And then way down the bottom of this list, I'm just going to move this back up. So it's in the sort of designing phase area. Oh my God. There's so many projects we have going on at the moment. It's kind of crazy. JDesk, which is our operating system, is nearly done with the fourth iteration, which is nice. So tonight we find out. Well, actually, we should probably also promote JPhone 2 and actually also figure out when we want to release it. Let's have a look. So we have a phone operating system. There's a console there. Um, any phone operating systems? Not that I can see. We could maybe go October. Oh, no, maybe November for the phone. Let's go November 2005. Six months. Yeah, because it's pretty much done. Press release. Let's get that going. I'm just going to prioritize that so we can get that out and mark it. Hype it. All right, so JFan 2 is on the way as well, which is exciting. Now, can I print this? Assembly line 2. Hmm. Oh yeah, it can just be printed there. Okay, yeah. So then we go, um, how do I, wait, how do I, oh, the button's there. I couldn't, for some reason, I couldn't find the button. 250,000 of those. I don't want any more than that. So that should start printing, I assume. Deadline not available. Don't, um, I think I have to check that line. Hang on. So if I check it there, it's just going to start outputting. Oh, we're going overnight. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> this hasn't started printing yet. Now, what did we actually, so wait, uh, what did we release again? Object Studio? Two million. Not great. Not uh, not that great. But it's a tool that we can use to make games. So that's all right. Now, are we making, what is this? Is this JPhone? No, this is all just products. Uh, well, where's my JPhone and why isn't it being printed? Hmm, I don't know. JPhone 2. Oh, hang on. Well, yeah, I select that. That's what I did. And then shouldn't it start going? Assembly zero. Yeah, I've selected this line. Is that what I do? Okay, got it. Uh... Yeah, it's not, wait, it's not saving it. Just print on this line, dude. It's like I click off and I come back and it's not selected. Well, assembly line two, toggle assembly line, hmm. assign, JPhone two. Oh, okay, I think I got it. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. I don't know, there's like a weird, like you have to like go in here and then assign it even though clicking here seems to do it, but it doesn't, I don't know. Anyway, there we go, so that is good. So now we are actually manufacturing those. We're really not making any money, by the way. We're down to $16 million in cash. I've been bleeding cash the last few years. Well, for the last few months even. My value is still good though, right? Oh, look at my money go down. Oh boy. Oh boy, that is draining fast. You know what? I might just take a little bit of cash out of here. <laughs> so we have a little bit of cash, maybe like a, maybe like a 50 miller. There we go. <laughs> it's, I'm spending so much on manufacturing at the moment. And we're not really, we haven't, because the thing is we've spent so much on Game Station and JPhone, but they haven't even been, um, like, well, not released yet. So there's just nothing there. I have a press build of Game Station 3, and I think I'm just going to promote JPhone 2. Let's just get it into beta. Do a press build of JPhone 2 as well. All right, so we're down to 37 million. Oh, look how much money we lost yesterday. <laughs> Wait, let's have a look. 36 million. I spent 39 million dollars on manufacturing yesterday. That's where the money went. All right, well, let's have a look at marketing. What's going on here? We can probably... Uh, still making money. I mean, it's like, I guess we might as well, what we should do. Music studio, like it's making less money. So let's maybe spend less on it. How about that? We'll spend 10,000. And same with photo studio, let's spend 10,000. E-vaccine is still doing all right. That's all right. None of these are really big hitters though. That's the thing. Like none of them are really making that much money. Oh, actually, how's all my research going, by the way? <laughs> yeah, it's like all of it's done. Oh, I could patent this. Sweet. So we finished that. Send that to law, finish that, send that to law or the legal. Um, these are still going, that one's nearly done. Some inventory broke. Yeah, I just, I guess I just don't have enough maintenance because especially this room, for some reason it's always this room too. Maintenance, let's have a look. We have 24 maintenance workers that come in every day, but I get, well, what level is this? Maybe this specific level needs more. Level three. We have four of them coming in throughout the day, but I guess maybe we just need more. Is that how much we have per room or per level? Yeah. So maybe I should hire double this amount. Right, 24, should I hire another 24 and just double it? All right, well I hired another 24 of them and assigned them all, so hopefully that should be uh, good. So we now have twice the amount of maintenance workers, but I guess I'm also just gonna call in some. Is that enough? I just call in a whole bunch of them. Just come and fix this room. Like what is going on in it? <laughs> All right, so we have twice the amount of maintenance workers, so maybe that'll work. This research is done. Let's patent that or at least try. I don't think my legal team is big enough to do all this. Uh, we're in June. We are looking pretty good overall. We can release the press release on JPhone 2 as well. 
Object Studio 2 is doing okay. How's all this support going up here? We fixed all the bugs on this one, so I'm gonna cancel support on that. We fixed all the bugs on this one, so I'm gonna cancel support on that. We fixed all the bugs on that, so I'm gonna cancel support on that. We fixed all the bugs in that, so I'm gonna can- Oop, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna cancel the support on that. We fixed all the bugs, so I'm gonna not cancel it because we've got 167,000 users. Like, if there's still a decent number of users, I'll keep support. And also, we haven't fixed all the bugs on these yet, so those are fine. Yeah, those are fine. All right, so we just cancel some older ones. I'm not sure if this- Is this canteen big enough still? Oh yeah, we still have some seats available. There's still seats over here, so it is definitely still big enough. I'm wondering, is there enough food? There's a couple of plates left. They're all gone now. Uh, Because I, I know we moved the, the, the cooks at nighttime to be a little earlier, so we had it all prepared. So I'm wondering if we needed to shift the, the daytime ones as well. So we did shift the nighttime ones to two hours earlier, but they still haven't even served up food, which is interesting. Uh, they are definitely taking their time. I thought moving them earlier would have, was a good idea. Now they're done. Hmm, maybe we need more. I'm gonna educate myself in marketing, I guess. I don't know, I don't really need to do that. Um, uh, why are the marketing team getting education? Shouldn't they be automatically educated? I should only be having to educate the, um, wait, why is Mark? Oh, wait a second. Don't tell me the marketing person retired and I didn't notice. HR management. No, they do have HR management. What's going on? You should be being educated. I have nine employees. Oh, you know what? I think it's just showing me everyone, but really the only people I need to educate should be the leaders. These people. Now I'm going to just start educating people in socialization because like I said, I do want to have people actually holding meetings and I could just fire and hire new leaders, but I mean, these people are pretty good. So it <laughs> might be better just to keep these leaders and hopefully train everyone up to a level three socializing. And then if they're already level three, multitasking is good after that. And I think um, I was reading some other people were having some issues with the meeting rooms as well, not really working like, cause we haven't really seen them use these, but I think I just need to assign them as well uh, because it doesn't seem to be letting them use them for whatever reasons. So I'm just gonna honestly select all the teams and just, they are now literally all assigned to use it. So hopefully we actually see them use it as a meeting room. Oh yes, finally. Finally, there's a team using it. Yeah, I don't know. There seems to be, I guess it, there must be an issue where at the moment they don't use it unless it's assigned to them. So our game team, our game devs are finally using the meeting room. Yes, I'm so, I'm actually really excited by that. Wait, where am I? I'm lost. Trying to use the first person camera is like the most difficult thing ever. No, this side. Oop. Here we go, here we go. Also, why is the first person camera so much darker? <laughs> I guess it is 10 PM. Well, I'm just glad that they're actually being used now. <laughs> like we can actually have these meeting rooms used. All right, we're in August. I just want to get a uh, game station out there. We should probably do another press build maybe. Maybe another press release. I might do the same with um, Shay phone as well. Hmm, I'm getting so many notifications of education now. Jay I really not sure why I shouldn't be unless the legal, maybe it's the legal team. Oh yeah, the legal team doesn't have an HR leader. That actually might be it. It's like all of these guys, just 10 employees. Yeah, I think it's these guys. So I, I'll just, oh, I, really they only need to be educated in law. They don't actually need to be educated in anything else, but I'll just do it anyway. Go have fun guys, have a good time. Let's patent uh, the 2D, finish researching the system. I don't know if we'll get any more patents this year, but we'll try, oh yes, meeting room. <laughs> yeah. I love seeing the meetings. That's so good. Well, that's a really long way to walk, by the way. Uh, I kind of want to put a door here, but it's not a very nice place for a door. The reason I didn't put a door here originally is because that's where the security room is. I'm wondering, you know what? I might actually just modify this room so we can have a door to this meeting room here because having them have to walk all the way around like that is so inefficient and like that's wasting so much time. So I want to do this. Obviously, I want to make sure I keep repair all rooms and restore all furniture. Wait, what? Oh, I never fixed that. Yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> My bad. I totally forgot about that. I thought they, I don't, yeah, you know what? I don't know why I forgot about that. I don't seem to be able to select the uh, security cameras for some reason. This doesn't seem to be, oh no, so it's still specified as security one, that's fine. All right, so then what I would like to do, I have a door here, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that's good. So then you can get into the meeting room there. That, I think they'll just be better. So then when there's meetings in here, they don't have to walk all the way around. Oh yeah, I should, <laughs> I should probably move the stuff that's like right in front of it maybe. There we go, that's better. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a little bit better, I think. I wonder if this is the same reason they don't use this lounge because it's not specified to the teams. Because I have this whole lounge and they never use it. But I mean, yeah, it is, it is kind of far away and there's stuff closer, but I still feel like they should probably use this room at some point. August, am I releasing something in August? No, next month. Oh, actually we're about to release Game Station. Alrighty, so we can release Game Station 3. Let's go. Yes, I will release it for a budget of 250 thousand dollars and no i don't want to order any copies because that should be fine all right so game station three let's do my make that my priority because we do want to market that so that is now out 
That is now out in the wild. Um, I probably want to port at least my games to it, right? So like Tiny Tim 2, for example. Let's get the game devs on that. Game Station 3 and maybe even Pen X4. Why not? And Tiny Tim as well, the original. And I guess I should get the... Let me get the console team also working on this because they're not doing anything right now. Um, yes, port to those. Uh, so I will also assign... Not the computer OS team, the... Sorry, the console OS team is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, cool. So get those ported over hopefully. And then hopefully we can start making a little bit of money because we are pretty broke at the moment. I'm going to be honest. Um, not doing so well with the old cash flow at the moment. <laughs> I've invested a lot of money in the new office and new projects, but we're not really making a good return on most of them. So let's have a look. Game Station 3, for example, currently negative $75 million. <laughs> we have to make a killing on this to make it back. We do have... Also negative 8 million on Object Studio, but 3D editors are kind of hard to make money on unless they're like, unless you make it really quickly or you sell a lot of them. We have not sold a lot of them, unfortunately, but that's all right. It's, we're using it to make games, so I think it should be okay. So JPhone 2 as well is nearly here. It doesn't have that many followers though. So I really want to like try and get this hopefully a little more popular. Oh, look, we have three meetings at once. Yeah. Yeah, so it definitely seems like uh, the room designation was the problem, interestingly, which is, I don't know why, that's, that, that is definitely interesting. Didn't use, you didn't used to have to specify it, but I mean, I guess that's not such a big deal, so that's all right. Uh, oh yeah, so what do we make? $21 million, pretty impressive, but, but we still have negative $53 million. So, <laughs> you know, not great, but, we're gonna have to then fill up the stock. Actually, you know what? I am gonna change my stock order on this to 250,000 because I don't really want to spend more money making more of them right now. I think having 400,000 in stock is probably okay. At least for now, at, le at least for now, at least for now. Check out the old warehouse. How's it going over here? It's pretty good. The room is dirty and he's cleaning up. Oh my gosh, it's always this hallway. I think, yeah, like I said before, I think I need to make the cleaners come in a little earlier. Noise. Ah, you two are having some noise issues, are we? Well, well, well. Oh, actually you're having a noise issue, I think because of this which is fair enough. I, I did suspect that might cause issues. I might just, um, I'll just move these to the, the, the hallway outside. There you go. That should make you feel a bit better. Yeah, there's a lot of people using the vending machines, I think. I love this office building. This place is great. I love it. So good. I love the meeting rooms that they're actually being used now. <laughs> like they actually have a purpose, which is fantastic. All right, so JFan 2 press release, I'm gonna get that out there. It's not really helping. I think we've been kind of spamming them with press releases, but that's all right. Uh, JDesk is nearly finally ready to go into alpha development. And my legal team is still working on all five of these. I'm surprised none of these have been researched by other companies yet, but we're good. 44 million. Oh, we went up to 76 million. We must have sold a lot of... Let's develop JDesk, there we go. Must have sold a lot of GameStation, $28 million worth. That is pretty good, that is pretty good. We sold now in total 349,000 units. Oh no, that's why we haven't stocked here. 240,000 units in total. And we're only at negative 37 million. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> I only had negative 37. But hey, I, would call, I definitely would call that a success. That is definitely a success. And I think it will make a profit. We have nine people presumably on the legal team, yep, that want some uh, education. Again, not that they really need it, but I'm just going to send them away anyway. There you go, go get educated. Um, leaders, I do want to keep educating you guys because you will get better and better. So you'll be better at multitasking, which is pretty good. So I want to make sure I educate the leaders as well, especially so they can do more meetings. Look at these meetings. I love it. I love the meetings. All right, I, I should probably leave this part here. This, I think it's been a pretty long episode. Uh, oh, oh, my roof. <laughs> my roof. Hang on. What we can do to fix that. So I'm actually just going to copy one of these. We're going to put that there and then I'm going to do this. So we're going to have a slab room here for the, the pillars because it looks kind of cool, right? Like this, okay? I think it looks cool having those lines follow up. And then these in-betweeny bits, we do this. We just set it to like a regular slab. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. I thought the game froze. It was it was really scary. <laughs> I thought I was about to crash. I was like, no! All right, then we just put these in the middle so it covers up that bit. There you go, now it looks a little bit neater. So it's actually technically different rooms like I did down here, but it allows you to give a different texture to the roof, which actually I think looks makes it way more interesting having that up there. And also it doesn't look messy with that weird uh, different colored bit there. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below, and have an awesome day.